Hey, it's 2020 and you're still vlogging on the Canon G7X Mark II. And for some reason you haven't upgraded to Mark III, but that's okay. Okay. Because today I'm gonna show you how to take your audio from sounding something like this to sounding something like this in just a few simple steps. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So for those of you that are loyal returning subscribers, thank you for being here. If you're looking for a trapeze video or a circus vlog, I'll sneak something like that in here. For you. But today, I wanna to share with some of our new friends. That's you! A little secret I found about how to get some better quality audio from this classic point and shoot camera. And if you find this video informational or entertaining, Feel free to like and tickle that subscribe button below. And I'll add a link in the description, all the things that you'll need to make your own setup like this down below. No, 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 not down there. No! Down there in the description and the Amazon store. That's gonna help you guys find all the stuff. Anyway, so you're probably saying to yourself, self, this camera already has pretty good audio. Why do I need another microphone? Well, if you're doing any kind of shooting that involves you not being absolutely next to the camera, Okay, now this is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, now of course that's absolutely ridiculous. Who's gonna vlog from that far away? But even with this homemade wind muff, you still can prevent all the ambient sound as well as with a better quality microphone. All right, so this is an internal sound test of what the audio sounds like coming from the body of the camera with a windstorm and vlogging outdoors. And now, now this is a sample, now this is an audio sample of what the external microphone sounds like while in the middle of a windstorm and vlogging outdoors. Okay, we're safe. So I made another video showing how an external audio can be set up with the same Canon G7X Mark II, but it was a little bit bulky and I got a lot of responses about it, but I can only imagine what these people look like while they're vlogging out in public with this giant contraption. So we're gonna test it. <laughs> So this one, I made it so much simpler and so much easier. First, we're gonna start with our wireless microphone. I use the Rode Wireless Mic Go because I found them to have the most reliable and best sounding audio quality. And for the price, you can't really beat it. Plus it comes with this cool little pouch. And of course the audio adapter. Next thing you need is this lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. And the final thing is your converter splitter because we're gonna be transferring from the two ring to the three ring outlet. Oh yeah, also we need the Canon G7X Mark II. <laughs> Putting this thing together is super simple. All we're gonna do is take the receiver, connect the cable that it comes with, and then we're gonna connect that cable to the microphone output. Last thing, we're gonna connect the three rings to the iPhone splitter, and of course the lightning port to our iPhone. All right, to make all this work, all I use in iPhone is my Voice Memos app. Now, if you have an Android, you can use the recorder app. It's very simple, same process. All you're gonna do is start recording. One thing you wanna remember when you're vlogging is that you wanna be able to synchronize the sound from your Canon G7X to the wireless audio. The way I do that, take two. Because many times I might do multiple takes where I'm starting and stopping the voice recorder and the camera, I wanna be able to know which clips those are so when I sync them later in post, they all connect real easily. This is also why they use the clapboard in movies to synchronize the sound. All right, once the recording is done, all you have to do is import the audio from your phone and the video from your camera into your editing program and sync them together. Many of the editing programs actually have a feature that will do this for you. So again, it's very important to remember when you're filming that you synchronize your audio and videos together every single take you do. Take two. So the way that I vlog with this entire setup is very simple. I actually put the phone and the receiver in my pocket or out of sight. That way I can keep the camera it's like it's a hand-free vlogging camera and I'm still gonna be able to get that great audio because I have the wireless mic connected to me. All right, so even though it's 2020, and there's been a lot of technological upgrades to cameras, you still don't have to swap out this classic point and shoot vlogging beast to get great quality audio. So if you did find this video helpful, it would really help us out by tickling that subscribe <laughs> button down below and hitting that bell for the notifications. And one last thing, all of this stuff has been listed in the description. So if you wanna get the same vlogging setup, the link to our Amazon storefront is in the description down below. Also, if you have any other questions, please, please comment me or DM me on Instagram. I'd be happy to help you guys as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now as always, go be awesome.